I'm just gonna pray that uh, that ain't undercooked my ribeye. We need Clemenza to get the point. The steak, slightly undercooked. Barbie and Brian are each hoping their New York strip with celery root, tomatoes, cauliflower, and shrimp will give their team the lead. This is my point. If Barbie beats me, I will slam my head into the first hard, blunt object I can find. OK, Bobby. I have a grilled New York strip surf and turf with a celery root mash, a roasted cauliflower, a little salad of heirloom tomatoes. New York steak's delicious. Thank you, chef. Shrimp are cooked perfectly. Ow. Brian. Oh, chef. Uh, what I have for you today is a New York strip tagliata. It's rosemary and Dijon crusted. On top is a little bit of celery root frite. Uh, on the side is a little bit of a warm salad. It's uh, some of the heirloom tomatoes mixed with uh, shrimp. Temperature's nailed perfectly. Cauliflower, shrimp, works brilliantly. <sighs> Tough one. <sighs> Congratulations to the red team. Yeah. White and the blue team. Good job. Yeah. Really good job. Right, right, really good job indeed. Thank God. Thank you, whatever is up there. Gracias, San Pedro. With the score tied at two going into the final round, it all comes down to Robin and Clemenza. Battle of the ribeye. Let's go. Come on, Clemenza. It comes down to the tiebreaker now. I am a little nervous at this point. I didn't really have enough time to finish that dish. Clemenza, what is that? pan seared ribeye with a uh, glazed charred corn relish with a little bit of bacon mm -hmm. and some fried uh, parsnip. I'm just going to pray that uh, that ain't undercooked my ribeye. We need Clemenza to get the point. The steak, slightly undercooked. We need Clemenza's point. It's delicious. Thank you, chef. Absolutely delicious. Steak is missing two minutes in the oven. However, you've done it justice. Thank you, chef. Right, Robin, what is it, please? Coffee and flour encrusted ribeye mm -hmm. with uh, bacon, corn, and broccoli on up here instead of kidney. That's a lot of pressure right now. I'm hoping that my dish is going to win, but Clemenza's dish definitely looks good. The frittata's seasoned beautifully. Thank you, chef. Damn, the bad news is it's overcooked. Um, the rub is disgusting. It's wet, and it's soggy, and it's overcooked. Dreadful. Congratulations, Blue Team. Men win. I am the man. I hate to say it, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the fucking Mac Daddy, baby. I'm feeling like shit that we didn't get the point, and I feel Kimmy right next to me. And of course, since she was crying, I didn't make the decision. Your teammates made the decision. Get over it. Just to confirm in my mind what went on there, Kimmy, I want to taste your dish. Bring it up. Let's go. This is the fucking crybaby's crying. Let the fucking crybaby put our steak up there. It is, it is delicious. It's almost like a sort of barbecue short rib. I knew exactly what Chef Ramsey was going to say. I knew he was totally going to say her dish was the best. I fucking knew it. All of you, come up here and take a taste of that meat. Come around here, please. Yes, Chef. Just take a lump of meat and I'll cut it up for you. Thank you, Chef. It's really great flavor. OK, it tastes good, but it looks like a fucking pile of shit on a plate. Ladies, I am sorry, but I don't know where you're coming from, because that is delicious. Wrong choice. I feel so much redemption right now, you have no idea. That proves to my team that I know how to cook steaks. I do this for a living, people. Bad choice, ladies. Yeah, you're right, Chef. Because that would have given Clemenza a run for his money, let me tell you. Blue team, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you, Chef. You've got a unique day. To start off with, you'll be going shopping. That one of my favorite hangouts, Sola Tab. <laughs> Blue team with another win, and we go get to go shopping for knives and shit. What? But there's more. You're going to one of the best restaurants in California, Kamsa. Yes. Chef David Myers has prepared the most amazing lunch for you all. I'm stoked. We're going to eat. We're going to shop. It's like a chef's dream. Blue team, good job. Well done, Justin. Now, piss off. Thank good you, job. Chef. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Red team, tomorrow in Hell's Kitchen, it's date night. You've got a very busy day ahead of you. I have a special delivery. There's a side of beef arriving. So when the beef arrives, unload the truck, bring in the carcass, and get it prepped ahead of tomorrow night's dinner service. Got it? Yes, Chef. I'm super pissed off because my dish would have won that shit. 
and I just know it's going to be a long day ahead of us. Come on, let's go. Today, let's go. Aye, aye, aye. Holy wow. shit. Wow, that's one big half of a cow. This is a big piece of fucking meat. You're fucking kidding me. Like, this is huge, man. Like, me and Clemenza could have laid down next to each other and still not have been as big as this fucking cow. One, two, three. Oh, fuck me, dude. This is ridiculous. Like, this is definitely a punishment that the boys should be having because how the fuck are we going to carry this? Oh, fuck me! Ah, uh, Ah, holy oh, shit! Look at this! Oh, holy yeah. crap! That's a dead animal. Yeah, like the crap. size of that. I see six chicks trying to pick up a half a cow. It's kind of funny, actually, because we've been getting our asses handed to us, and we've been getting a little abused, so uh, let them bring in the friggin' beef. Dude, you see the size of that thing? Are you kidding me? Can we get a forklift? Boys get to go on an amazing shopping spree again. No, oh, I'm pissed off as all hell. It's just not fair. Not fair. Mm. Holy shit. Do you need more help in that back? Yes. Mm. I feel like I got 250 pounds back on this ass end of this cow. Uh. I mean, it's just like I can't barely breathe. Uh. Uh. Kimmy's like. Uh. Uh. Is she going to make it? Like, is she going to be all right? One, two, two. Great. Jesus. OK, that was fun. While the women are ready to do some chopping. We're going to Sur Le Tab? The men are ready to do some shopping. Sur Le Tab? Can't wait. Hey! I think I'm going to get an espresso maker. I don't know. Sur Le Tab is basically Disneyland for chefs. How about that, right? It's gorgeous. You want that 70 cent to go right there? Oh, what about an ice cream maker? I'll get an ice cream maker. Done. I'm like a kid in a candy store. My eyes are lit up, and I'm just beaming off the 50 million things that I see, and I already won. I'm loving it. Clemenza bought half the store today. I think he bought a soda machine, a, a juicer, a peeler. He was just going nuts. He made sure he spent every penny. Don't forget the little piece of candy. <laughs> yeah, baby. While the men enjoy the spoils of victory, Sweet. the women. I'm so fucking pissed. We were this close. Deal with the agony of butchering the meat. I should have felt the steaks, even though I couldn't taste them. I could have felt them. To lose the steak challenge, it's incredibly disappointing. Honestly, it's Robin's fault, and we lost. Dude, next time, you definitely got to sell your shit. I was trying. Robin just kept talking to, over me. Uh, I feel like I'm constantly getting dirty looks behind my back because I don't have enough fucking balls to do it to my face. <laughs> There's no team in a red team. It's fucking let's all turn against each other now. <laughs> Girl, this is my fucking